What is up everyone, it's DJ Martini Midwest Reviews coming at you with a real quick tutorial video for my channel. We're gonna talk yeah, about new the new Mark Mixstream Pro. It's not the Pro Plus, it's just a Pro, but it's an update that still needs to be done with the Engine DJ software. Now you can find this on enginedj.com and they'll have all the updates that can kind of have it behind me right there. And they did a really big one, the 3.1.0 update. And I do have a video how to get that done as well. Just search that update and it'll pop up. But I also wanted to show you on the Mixstream Pro, they just put out another update. So we got to continue to update. But basically this is just a really small update that's fixing uh, problems with the a uh, couple issues with people having with the sync manager and changing files around and then also problems with the the speeds of searching things in your library and your lists and so they made some speed improvements so it's a small update but it is an update that needs to be done it's the 3.1.1 uh, which i'll show you how to get done on the mixstream pro right here so uh, hopefully it's a quick video nothing too crazy i'm going to show you how to get this done over wi-fi and it'll be a pretty quick and easy painless tutorial. So thank you for tuning in to DJ Martini Midwest Reviews. If you've never tuned in, just know I love to help. I love to do review videos. I love to do tutorials. I just wanna help. If this is helpful at all, please leave a like or subscribe, hit those bell notifications and subscribe to DJ Martini Midwest Reviews. Let's grow this channel and keep on trucking. All right, thank you so much. Uh, let's get into the video. We're gonna go step by step the best I can so it makes it easy to follow through. I'm going to show you a nice view of the uh, controller. And like I said, the controllers pretty much do this on your own. If you're doing a download for the laptop, you're actually going to have to uh, download that on the laptop. But for the most part, on the controller itself, it'll be pretty painless and we'll go over that process. So let's switch views and get We are get back. We want to go ahead and plug your unit in back here. And then we're going to go ahead and just fire it up. And automatically it should take you to, you can see I have the 3.0 update. I don't have the 3.1 or the 3.1.1. Uh, so it'll be good to update this DJ, engine DJ controller, which is the new Mark Mixstream Pro. Uh, it should automatically take us to an update or say there's an update available. If it does not do that, then we will have to go to the settings, which it is not taking me there. So we're gonna go ahead and just arrow down and then we're going to go into the settings here right here which is the button right over here then what we're going to go is look for the update um, about an update and boom once you do that it says that there is an update available it is the 3.1.1 and you can remind me later ignore or we can go ahead and update through the wi-fi now my controller is connected to my wi-fi at home so just make sure that your controller is connected to your Wi-Fi. Uh, all you have to do is sign into that and you should have no problem. That is also in the settings under Wi-Fi. So we'll go ahead and update this and you can see how long this is gonna take. How do we wanna do it? We wanna do it over the web. So we don't wanna use the computer. That's a different way of doing it. We wanna do it over the web and it's the easiest and fastest way to get this done. So it's gonna go ahead and do that update. And it will, like it says, it will reboot after it powers off. You do not have to power it off. So it is actually doing the download down there, you can see. Um, might take a little bit. I'm actually downloading a few things on my laptop and, and might have my Wi-Fi router pretty busy right now. But uh, might take us just a little bit, but we're going to go ahead and get this update done. The 3.1.0 was a pretty big update, so it was probably a bigger file. If you were just going from that update to this update, it should be really, really fast. But since I'm doing both of them, like I said, it might take me a little bit longer. Plus I am doing this over Wi-Fi, And like I said, my I'm also downloading a game on my laptop. So could be taking a little bit of uh, extra time, but now it's starting to really click in there. It's verifying the update and boom. Just keep still just keep wait don't get too impatient try to do anything do not unplug it is still doing that update during this process too i also have my sd card that has all my music it is still in the new mark so i didn't like disconnect any of my drives or anything that i have in this whatever you normally have into the your uh, Mixstream Pro, any kind of hard drives you might have plugged in or any kind of 
SD cards or USB flash drives that you have them, go ahead and have those plugged in. I always say, because uh, it will do a quick update on those as well, uh, that it's reading everything fine. So I always just keep those plugged in. I've never had any issues with updating them with the drives, flash drives, or SD cards in. It is connected to my Wi-Fi and we are good to go. And I do have the update. So we can go to my, you can see that I do have the engine update now, 3.1.1 Mixstream Pro. You can get out of there. And I can go back to my library and I am good to go. This controller is completely updated and ready to go for you. And you're ready to go on on your day. Start mixing and using, uh, hopefully everything is working on the engine day DJ software and you also have uh, no problems uh, transferring files with the sync manager on engine DJ on your laptop or you know speed should be okay uh, with the update and everything so we are good to go here and that's all I got for you DJ Martini Midwest reviews thank you for tuning in please like subscribe and share if this is helpful at all and we'll catch you on the next tutorial or video